Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gamers. If you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Tennessee Shuichi's Path. So I was informed that uh, this is a long, long, long game, and I'm basically just getting to the main game now. And oh my god, oh my lord, that is a lot of content. But anyway, guys, just sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes while entertaining, and let's jump right in. Alarm chain, you're up, and let's go. Okay. <clears throat> Shuichi follows my gaze, his eyes landing on the same object that I am so fixated on. Oh, that. This, uh, this can't be what I think it is, can it? It's exactly what you think it is. Shuichi picks up a small acrylic box, the way he handles it so gentle and full of affection. Inside the box is an origami swan. It's poorly made and barely resembles what it's supposed to be at all. But even despite that, there are no marks in the little thing. It's been kept safe and perfectly preserved inside this box. This is one of the swans you made for me back when I was depressed about my parents getting divorced. It's been over four years! You kept it for all this time? Why are you so surprised? This is something you made for me, as if I could ever throw, throw something like that away. But I didn't make a ton of them. Sixty-five, I kept count. I still have all of them inside a box in my room. It's just that, it's just that Dad only let me put one on display. No offense, but why did you choose the ugliest one? The ugliest one? I mean, I'm pretty sure I remember most of them looking way better than this. This one barely even resembles a swan. Ah, I think I see what you're trying to say. But just for your information, this one is my favorite. Your favorite? Yeah, it's the very first one you made for me. It's the one that made me the, the happiest. Are you alright? Shit, I have to look away. My face is so red right now for some reason. Y yeah I I'm fine. Why did my heart just skip a beat? You okay, kitties? Okay. Anyway, how about we get to that snack? Sure. Good thing Shuichi isn't the sharpest one around. We spend a long... I love, I love that he's making that comment. <laughs> we spend a long time just sitting around and having fun, talking about anything that comes to mind. Having time to spend together, just the two of us, is so rare nowadays. It's good to take the opportunity to just hang out together. I still can't believe you managed to get out of that one. Yeah, Ishima Sensei was not happy with me over that. We're not talking about anything of any particular importance. And yet there's a certain lightness to the air right now. Talking to Shuichi like this feels so cozy. Oh, this reminds me. Shima Sensei was put in charge of supervising the senior year booth for the festival this year. Seriously? He's been our supervisor since we were freshmen. I guess they must think he deals with the students in, uh, in, our, year the, in our year the best. Can't really argue with him on that. This will be the first time since middle school that we're not doing the preparations for the festival together, somehow. It feels kind of lonely. It feels kind of lonely when I think about it. Yeah. I'm still not used to Shuichi being in a different class from me. We always used to study together. We even managed to always sit close to each other. Being in a different class from his from his is a little is a complicated feeling. I guess if we had to use it I guess we had to get used to it at some point, right? What do you mean? No, you and I won't really see each other much after we graduate. I'll become a professional, and you'll probably leave the country. You, on the other... Uh, blah. I'll become a professional and probably leave the country. You, on the other hand, are going to go to college. Not only will we be busy, but we'll live so far away from each other that we won't have much time for talk. Who knows? We might not see each other for many years. Oh, I... I guess you're right. I never gave it much thought. Yeah, you're right. We really have to start getting used to not being together all the time. Even though he has a smile on his face, his voice sounds so distant right now. S sorry, I, I said something weird out of nowhere and ruined the mood. Nah, you're fine. And you're right. We are eventually going to be separated, just like he said. That's just how life goes. Most people don't keep in touch with their childhood friends once they begin adult lives. Who knows, ten years from now, we might be nothing more than distant memories to one another. What? That's not true. You said it yourself. We'll probably be living far away from each other. With jobs and worries of our own, we'll probably be meet other people during that time, too. Eventually, we might just drift apart and stop talking to each other. It's not like it's a rare thing at all. But, but still, don't say such lonely things like it were nothing. No matter what happens, I think you and I will be friends forever, even if we're not close to each other. Friends forever? <laughs> what are you, a schoolgirl? Gah! It'd be nice if it were true, though. What? Nothing, nothing, don't worry about it. Oh, by the way, I just remembered that I have something for you. Something for me? Shuichi gets up from his seat, walking to a nearby bookcase and opening a drawer on it. Here. 
He hands me a maga. Is this... Is this the first edition of The Devil Works as a Nun? Is that like the devil is a part-timer? Except more Catholic? <laughs> yep. I know you've been looking for it over, for a few years. I've been secretly searching for it, too. Dad found it by accident at a Japanese bookstore in Taiwan and shipped it over here to me. It arrived yesterday. Sh Shuichi, this thing is over 30 years old. It's incredibly rare. It must have cost you a fortune. Nah, it's no biggie. I knew you wanted it for the longest time, so I wanted to be the one to give it to you. Of course, tracking it down was harder than I thought. I finally understood why you couldn't find it. Still, this is such a big thing to give someone. Let me pay you back for it. Are you out of your mind? This was a present. As if I'd let you pay for it. <laughs> but... Yuichi, just let me do something nice for you every now and then. I like you. I like making you happy. Every now and then? It feels like you're always doing things for me. This book, the paper swans. Just today you've already shown me how considerate and sweet you are. Every now and then you're always so nice and kind to me. Have I ever really shown him the same amount of kindness? Hey, Shuichi. Yuichi, are you alright? This isn't the face I expected to see you making when I finally gave you this. So, sorry, I'm a little overwhelmed right now. Hey, don't get me wrong, it's such an amazing gift. I just don't know what to say to right, say right now. Shuichi, it's incredible how you can do so much for me and yet act like it's nothing. Huh. But it's incredibly not. but it's really nothing for me. Like I said, I enjoy making you happy. You're my favorite person in the world, so why wouldn't I do nice things for you? Making you happy also makes me happy. Really, this guy is too much. Shuichi, you really are amazing. I'm so glad to have met you. What's this all of a sudden? That's such an embarrassing thing to say out of nowhere. <laughs> Sorry. Shuichi, thank you. You're the best friend I could have ever asked for. I never stopped to think of all the things you've done for me, and yet they've been popping up more and more as of late. It's not as if your attitude changed. I probably just began to be more aware of it. Why is my heart racing so much in my chest? Either way, we should probably start cutting this short. It's getting late already and I have a pile of work to do. But, but we're in the middle of a gold of Golden Week. Today was the only day of class. You should be free. You really think schoolwork is the only thing I have to do? Some people have entrance exams to worry about, you know. And I've been slacking off on my studies for, for them because of all the student council work. I have a lot of catching up to do. Oh, I never stopped to think about it. It's true, Shuichi intends to go to get into college. M maybe I can help you. I know I haven't been the most attentive student lately, but I'm a quick study. I'm sure I can catch on pretty quick. I have no doubt you could. You've always been able to show show me off. You've always been able to show me off when you put your mind to it. That's exactly why I'll say no. If you manage to outdo me when you haven't studied seriously in three years, I'd just about die of embarrassment. Oh, sorry. It's fine. I'm still very thankful that you took the time to come over here today and help me. Really, thanks a lot, Yuichi. I owe you one. Don't be stupid. I'm the one who owes you a lot for all the things you've done for me over the years. All right, I'll get out of your hair so you can concentrate. Thanks for having me over. Let me walk you to the door. On my way back home, I couldn't help but start thinking to myself. I really have to start doing better. Shuichi deserves someone who treats him better than I do. And yet, the thought of giving him away to someone else pains me much more than I thought it would. I have to get better. Hmm. Huh. No little bell this time. Interesting. Hmm. I wonder what I should do today. The rooftop sounds extra inviting right now, although I'm pretty sure I'd get yelled at if I went there. Eh, that's never stopped me before. Oh. Oh, okay. More. More boy. Once more, I come up to the roof to take some time for myself. As usual, this is the best place on campus to just lie down and nap. Huh? Wait, there's someone else here! Whoa! A white wolf is sitting on the floor, lazily looking up at the sky. I don't remember ever seeing him before. Even if I don't know them by all name, even if I don't know them all by names, I'm at least familiar with all the seniors in school. Maybe this guy is a junior or even a freshman. As I stand on my spot watching him and trying to decide whether to stay or leave, the wolf speaks up. Are you going to stand there and gawk at me all day? His tone isn't the friendliest I've ever heard, which further makes me unsure. The wolf turns his head towards me, looking me in the eye. Didn't think I'd run into you here. You know who I am? Of course I do. You're the guy that the captain is always fawning over. The captain? Heh, <laughs> figures you wouldn't know me. I've seen you visit our, our courts tons of times since I joined, but you never bother to learn who we are. Oh, wait, are you one of Shuichi's teammates? One of his eyebrows twitches. Teammate, I guess you could call it that. 
The wolf gets up from the floor and dusts himself off. Ah, Haruki! The guy who's getting his own root! Yeah, I'm one of his teammates. Although I doubt he even cares about people like me at all. What? What do you mean? Shuichi cares about everyone on his team! The wolf scowls, crossing his arms. As if I'd believe in some pretty little fairy tale like that. If he cared so much, then he wouldn't always act so high and mighty towards us. High and mighty? Guys, what kind of voice should I do for Haruki? Just let me know in the comments. Yeah, all he cares about is improving himself. He doesn't care if other people can't follow him. He just leaves everyone behind without a second thought. Pushing everyone so hard past their limits that they quit. Forcing us to take tosses that we have, to, that we have no way to deal with. It must be nice being a genius. You don't have to worry about anyone else beneath your station. He really is a volleyball idiot. Those words, you will take them back right now. Huh? Wolf pushes his hands into his pockets, leaning back with a smug smile on his face. Ooh, don't tell me I've managed to upset you. <laughs> you guys really are all birds of a feather. Let me guess, the little genius here is feeling sore because the bills fit him too. Just so you know, I've been watching the captain very closely since I first joined this school. I know a lot about him, and I know about you too. I know for a fact that everything I just said is the truth. And yet you call him a genius. Is that a word you like to use so you don't, like, you don't have to admit to the fact that you never even bothered to try? His posture immediately shifts, the fur on the back of his neck bristling up. He glared at me, talking talking through gritted teeth. What did you just say? I just find it funny that you'd say you've been watching him all this time, and yet you'd call him a genius. You say that he's a genius, and that's why you can't keep up with him? You're just trying to push the responsibility over your own weakness onto someone else, aren't you? For a second, I'm afraid I might have said too much. I can't help but get heated up when I hear people talking badly about my friends, and I might have ended up saying too much. But I absolutely, also absolutely refuse to back down after everything he said. Surprisingly enough, the wolf's gaze softens. Heh, <laughs> you got quite a mouth on you, huh? You two really are alike. What's that supposed to mean? He also got really heated when I talked smack about you back then. Back then? What are you talking about? Oh, you didn't know? The captain and I got into a fight last month. He nearly broke my nose, too. Damn thing bleeding for hours. What? No way! No way she wish you would hit someone! You're lying! Suit yourself. I'm only telling you what happened. If you find it that hard to believe, then ask him about the guy who punched the guy he punched back in the first day of class. I'm actually kind of curious about it. He always so damn concerned with acting like the perfect person. I wonder what would he consider the bigger the bigger sin, admitting to have assaulted someone or lying about it. He's so damn obsessed with you that I'm sure he'd consider either one of those to be the either one of those to be so un, be unacceptable. Be un, blah. He's so damn obsessed with you that I'm sure he'd consider either one of those to be an unacceptable blow to your image of him. This guy! I feel every nerve in my body screaming at me to slug him! But I have to keep my cool. I'm sure he's only provoking me because he wants me to do it. I don't know anything about that. I don't know about anything like that. And since, when has Shuichi been obsessed with me? Now you're just making up stories to try and cause some strife. How pathetic are you? His eyes contracted again. I can see his fist shaking through the pockets of his pants. Two can play this game. The wolf takes a deep breath, stabilizing himself. How can I see that this guy has temper problems? You say he's not obsessed, huh? Of course. You'd really have to be dense not to notice. I'm surprised you can even function normally like that. What? The wolf walks towards me. I fully prepare myself in case he tries to hit me. Guys, one second. Uh, oh, uh, the, uh, uh, headset's running out of juice. Let me plug it in. One second, guys. Let me plug it in. Uh, we're almost there. Plug, go in. Plug, go in. There we go. Okay. All right. Okay. I fully prepare myself in case he tries to hit me. If he even attempts to do... If he even attempts to out, he gently places a hand on my chin, lifting my face up to look him in the eye. His eyes are much softer than before and brimming with curiosity. You know, I've always been curious. I never understood what it is that ca that the captain sees in you. Huh? What Shuichi sees in me? What's this guy talking about? Hmm. I guess you're kind of good looking. Could that be it? I don't think he's that shallow, though. What's so good about you, anyway? I'm left completely astonished. His sudden gentleness is so unexpected that I'm left without a reaction. Then he leans in. No! My body immediately reacts, pushing the wolf away. He hits the wall behind him, painfully rubbing his head. You little! He takes another step towards me, his fists clenched. Just as I begin fearing the worst. Oh. Yuichi! Kazumi! What are you two? The wolf composes himself again, putting both hands back into his pockets and staring at Yuichi with a cold glare. Would you look at that? Punctual as ever, eh? On time? Yeah, I called cause I called Koizumi to meet me here since Coach asked me to talk to him about something. 
Wait, did he try to kiss me on purpose so Shuichi would walk in on us? You, you tried doing that so Shuichi would see us? Doing that? What's that? A cocky smile appears on the wolf's face as he stares us both down, acting so incredibly high and mighty. That's none of your business. What? What I do on my own free time is none of your business. What you do to Yuichi is my business. I already told you to stay away from him. Wait, you did what? Shuichi's ears immediately fold as I realize the words he just spoke. See, told you this guy is completely obsessed with you. He even goes around telling people not to go anywhere near you. What? Haruki, that's not... Shuichi, you've been telling people to stay away from me? No, that's not... The wolf laughs. God damn it, you two are so pathetic. Enjoy your time together. I'm out. He begins walking towards the door. Stop right there. You and I still need to talk. Let go. The wolf glares at Shuichi, but with bared fangs. His eyes open wide, while his eyes contract until they're barely even dots. Surprisingly, Shuichi hesitates. Haruki uses this one second to pull away. See so you at practice. Remember to take at least a few breaks while... Oh. While the two of you are making out. Wouldn't want you to run out of air while I'm not around to see it. Oh my god. Are you alright, Shui- Are you alright, Yuichi? I I'm fine. He was just being an ass. Somehow I don't think I should tell you, Shuichi, that the guy tried to kiss me. He'd probably just get more upset. Yeah, being an ass is his specialty. Coach asked me to talk to him about that today. God damn it, why does he always have to make everything so difficult? For some reason, that guy, Haruki's words stay with me. Shuichi is obsessed with me, that's what he said. I didn't believe it, but after what happened just now? After what was said just now? A small part of me can't help but believe it. Is Shuichi really obsessed with me? Why? What's so good about you anyway? Those words echo in my head so many times. Could it be that Shuichi... No way. No way in hell could it be true. No, I mean, we're both guys, and he's been my friend for so long, and... Why does my heart feel so heavy? I don't understand. Yuichi, are you sure you're all right? You're spacing out. Huh? Oh, sorry about that. Damn it, it's so obvious to him that I have something on my mind right now. But seriously, what was this all about? I honestly don't understand. M my mind is going around in circles without me being able to grasp the situation. Sorry to have acted so horribly in front of you. He really played me like a fiddle. I don't think I've ever seen someone be able to anger you that much before. Yeah, somehow that guy seems to know all my buttons. And yet, the thing that made you really lose it was when he came to me. Come to think of it, the only times I've ever seen you really get angry at other people was when I was involved. God damn it, no, I shouldn't be thinking about this. The guy just said that his stuff to get in my head. The guy just said that stuff to get in my head. There's no way that. There's no way that Shuichi is. is like that. Ugh, this is all such a headache. I wish he wouldn't act like that all the time. I want to believe he's not really a bad guy, but then he goes and pulls crap like this. Would you mind telling me more about this guy? Why do you even want to know? You looking to get buddy-buddy with him? After today? Hardly. And I don't like you asking something like that after the shit he pulled. Jeez, was he right? Are you really jealous? So, sorry. I just want to understand what this is all about. Not even I understand, so good luck with that. I shouldn't either way. I don't think he'd like me telling you about it. After what he did today, do you even care? Hmm. No. See? Okay. Alright, guys, I'm gonna pause it right there. Wow. Alright, then. New character. Interesting. Big bad wolf. Hmm. So he's gonna have his own route, huh? Interesting. Alright, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!